I'm standing in Stewart Town. I've got Richard here with me, and I've got the Stewart Town Cemetery just behind us. So we're standing up at Richard's house, which is just overlooking the Stewart Town Cemetery. We've had a bit of a talk about the cemetery because I have talked about the Dickerson names in the cemetery there, and you've told me a bit more history about some of the Dickersons around Stewart Town. Yeah, they go back a long, long way, and uh, even Rellos are more in the Dickerson. So. Uh, you know, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, that's a very good thing. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> now, from your perspective, really, the amalgamation went through, there was going to be some more money around for roads, and, and really you saw the three most important things from the amalgamation as being roads, roads and roads. That's exactly right, yeah. Is that working out so far? No. In a, in a, in a word? In a word, no. I think the volume of traffic that runs on Burrendon Way is, is getting exponential in numbers. I think uh, it's only a matter of time when we do have some fatals. In fact, we have had the fatals. It's uh, uh, hardly uh, rocket science to know that there's more people getting about, they're more mobile. Um, the communication system is such that that occurs. Mm. But the, keeping up with the standard of roads is just not happening. And, uh, I think the amount of money that the state government has at the moment, there is a huge amount of money there with poles and wires money and snowy mountains money and even the GST take we're getting at the moment. We're just not seeing enough of that come to regional areas and I think that's one place that money could be spent is in roads around this electorate. Well I think there's not enough media uh, exposure to, to the facts and uh, you know I think a good story gets in front of a lot of facts and that's that's a bit of a problem. Well, it's a big problem. We don't get the recognition because we don't make enough noise. Uh, you know, we're seen as not that viable as communities compared with what's on the other side of the sandstone curtain. And and I understand that we choose to live here, but I think the fairness is not there yet. Mm. Um, even though they talk about it, um, we've not seen you know the money on the table. Or the, and as an independent, I'll, I'll be in there fighting no matter who's in government. I'm never in opposition as such if I get in there. So I'll be in there fighting for this electorate. You, you did tell me before that some people are a bit wary of independence, but you've also pointed to that good history we've had in this electorate with independence. Well, that's that's right. And, and I think also you'll be, I, I think you'll be part of a fairly close uh, election numbers wise. Uh, and, and maybe you do have a lot of power and uh, you know I think power in the hands of people that are there for the right reasons and you know dare I say it you would be uh, knowing your background I think that's that's going to go well for you uh, certainly if you get into that position. Mm. Anyway great chatting to you today thanks for your time I appreciate it. people are very generous with their time and you've been very generous. <laughs> thanks Richard. Good Thank see you. you. Bye.